today I'm going to do my October favorites. Um, I've had some really crazy things happen to me in the past two months. Um, I actually opened a cafe, so for those of you who do not know, I think actually nobody really knows, I don't really talk too much about um, stuff. I am a cook, hence the gourmet in the gourmet glitterati. So we opened a cafe on September 4th, which is why I've been so MIA with videos and stuff like that. But it's finally kind of getting into a normal rhythm and I'm trying really, really hard to get back into it because I love doing this. I love everything that is beauty related and just junk like so that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my favorites and then I'm going to do a small giveaway just to kind of, you know, bring everything back to life. Since I so first thing we're going to start with is eyes. And I have been loving this Milani Shadow Eyes. This is in the color um, Champagne Toast and it is fantastic. It is a shadow stick. It's pretty much just like a Base, like the NYX Jumbo pencils, except for those crease. If you put too much on and you don't blend it out properly, um, they will crease. This stays on my eyes all day long. It does not crease. It's true to color, so I love it. I'll show you up close. It's just this really pretty champagne color. Um, it needs to be sharpened right now, but I'll just... And it has a really great reflectiveness to it, and it, like, I can blend it and smudge it and do whatever I want and then it sets and lasts amazing. So love this. And I usually hate felt tip liners. I think that they're terrible. Um, for the most part they like fray at the ends and they're kind of weird until I found this one. This is a Jordana. This is something you can get at Walgreens or Kmart. That's really the only place I've ever seen it. Um, it's a Fabu liner and it is a felt tip. It comes to a really fine point and it just makes a precise line and it dries perfectly and it doesn't budge all day. It's just really easy to work with and for $1.99 you cannot go wrong. Um, and then another thing I've been using on my eyes uh, is this Chanel. This is one of their um, Illusion de Ombre eyeshadows. This is in Emerville, which I'm sure is not the way to say it at all, but this is a, um, it's in a pot, it's a powder, it looks creamy, it's got like a creamy powder, kind of like bouncy feel, like champagne-y, pink, shimmery color. Next thing is actually shadows, and I've just been kind of reaching for the same things, so this I've really been loving. This is a, this is called Sunbaked Neutrals by Maybelline and it's just got a good set of everyday colors. Next thing I have is for my under eye circles. So I'm always tired now. I don't know. I can get eight hours of sleep and I'm just tired. I think I'm um, mentally tired just from everything that I've been doing and just physically tired and just tired. So I, without fail, every morning have dark circles. This is the Instant Age Rewind um, Eraser. It's a dark circle eraser. This is the color Light and I, it has this little weird spongy thing on it. But I just put it under my eyes and it's light so it blends or so it brightens and then just blend out and it doesn't crease. So yeah, that's good. And then I set that with this. This is the Purely Cosmetics. Um, it's a setting powder. It's called Diamond Perfect Finish and it's a setting powder and it's very fine, fine powder. Um, it almost looks like cornstarch or something like that. Like it's so fine. Um, but it sets my makeup really well. It's really similar to the Makeup Forever HD. Um, I have that one also, but that one smells really powdery to me and I can't get over it. Um, so I've really been enjoying this. This helps set everything and I'm really happy with this. Um, so my favorite lip balm has been this Baby Lips. I've been loving these. My husband actually really likes the clear one too. Um, Anyways, I like this one more specifically because it's a gorgeous color. It's like that, I just ate a lollipop, you know how people say that, but this is like actually, 
I just ate a lollipop. It's a really um, sheer tint of like pinky red. This is in like cherry. It's the red one, orange tube, red inside. Last two things are actually tools and I'm just gonna show them really quickly. This is the MAC 239 eyeshadow brush. I just think it's the best eyeshadow brush on the planet. I have a ton and this picks up color and packs it on beautifully. I love it and I could not be without it in my makeup kit um, or my makeup collection or whatever. And then this one is a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Um, anyway, so these are Samantha Chapman, one of the Pixie Woo sisters, um, has her own line of brushes, and these are Real Techniques brushes, and they are fantastic. They are so soft. This one in particular is my absolute favorite. I like to use this to put the powder on to set my under eye concealer. Um, it's just a great, great brush. All of the brushes are amazing, but this one I use every day and I love it. So those are my beauty favorite. I'm going to do a random favorite now, and that is this. Um, actually, this is kind of like two in one. This, I want to show you my candle holder, which Matt thinks is a waste of money because it's, I mean, you have a candle holder with this. It's just glass. But this is so cute. It just makes the candle look more festive and cute and it's gold and leaves and I don't know I love it so this is awesome but anyways the real favorite is right here this is the pumpkin cupcake candle from Bath and Body Works and it smells so good it is it really does smell like pumpkin like fresh fresh break stupid I can't even talk like fresh baked pumpkin bread and cream cheese frosting with a little sweet buttercream in there it is so good and it makes my whole room smell like a bakery which I love <laughs> baked things and sugar and crap like that um I love it I love it I think it's fabulous I bought an extra one for you guys this is just a really small giveaway just a thank you to everyone for supporting me and um, staying with me through kind of the craziness that is my life at the moment. So this is the Pumpkin Cupcake Candle. This is the Slatkin, Co Slatkin & Co. Candle from Bath & Body Works. So at the moment it is a very popular candle and every time I go in there they're sold out. So I thought it would be really fun to give one away. So all you have to do to win this candle is obviously please be a subscriber. Um, I will check. Also, give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you like it and let me know that you like giveaways because I actually have quite a few coming, so you're going to want to be here for that anyways. And just leave me a comment below letting me know one of your either beauty favorites or random favorites from this month because I'd love to hear what everybody has been enjoying. Um, this is open internationally so everybody can enter. Um, also, if you're under the age of 18, please make sure that you have your parents' permission. I will need your address to send it so, you know, sometimes parents don't like to give that out. So anyways, that is it. I will be choosing a winner one week from today. So that is November 8th by midnight. I have all of the entries in and I will choose the winner and I will let you guys know who won. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thank you for just kind of being here and, and all of that. And now I'm at 20 minutes, so obviously most of this has to go. Um, please subscribe for more videos and for the giveaway and for future giveaways. Um, don't forget to check out my blog at GourmetGlitterati.com. I am working on that also. And that's it. So I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.